Welcome to Voice Recognition Australia. This training video will take you through the functions and features of Dragon Medical One, often referred to as DMO. A small program that facilitates the login and communication with your cloud-based profile is either installed locally on your computer or on the server next to your medical records program. Upon logging in, a profile screen will appear where you can choose your microphone source and your medical speciality. For the purposes of this video, I will choose cardiology as the speciality. Then click OK and DMO will log in and produce the dragon bar that you can see at the top of the screen. On the left is the microphone choice and on the right hand side is the Dragon menu. Firstly, let's look at the microphone source. If no other microphone is installed on your computer, then by default DMO will choose the PowerMic Mobile. This is the wireless microphone app on your iPhone or Android smartphone. You can see on the left of the Dragon bar that the microphone icon is orange, indicating that the PowerMic Mobile is chosen. If you go to the Dragon menu and go to Options and choose Microphone Buttons, you can see a layout of the uh, configuration of the PowerMic Mobile. In the menu, you can also see that there is an op option to choose the microphone. I've also got connected a USB power mic. If I select that, you notice the microphone icon now goes red, indicating the USB connected mic. If I now go again to the options and choose microphone buttons, there is that device with its default settings on the microphone selection. I'm going to use both microphone sources in this video. To begin with, I'll go back and select PowerMic Mobile as the source. I'd like now to dictate a brief cardiology report to illustrate three main principles when using DMO. I'll bring up Microsoft Word and dictate. Open the app, you'll see the microphone icon goes red and indicating that the wireless microphone app is paired. The patient is a 64 year old male who presents with chest pain, full stop. His primary care physician is Dr. Smith, full stop. He reports that the pain started three days ago, full stop. He describes it as sharp, comma, mid-sternal pain, comma, radiating to his right arm, full stop. He also complains of associated shortness of breath, cold sweats, and nausea, full stop. He denies vomiting, comma, rectal bleeding, or tarry stools, full stop. He denies a history of heart attack, full stop. He does have a history of COPD, comma, CAD, comma, arthritis, comma, hypertension and hyperlipidemia. Full stop. He is currently taking lisinopropyl for blood pressure. Full stop. The three principles of dictating into DMO are don't dictate at breakneck speed or too slow. Particularly too slow. Dragon will often interpret hesitation or pausing while dictation as either a command or intended punctuation. Secondly, use punctuation to give Dragon context while you're dictating. Thirdly, watch out for microphone clipping, that is, turning on your microphone and starting to dictate at the same time. It may need even a fraction of a second for the microphone to turn on before dictating. In DMO, two commands can be used to manage your vocabulary, the correct command and the select command. Both these commands have identical functions. 
Firstly, I'm going to dictate a sentence using a drug term that is new and won't be in the vocabulary. New paragraph. The patient was prescribed Gemtessa to deal with urinary tract infections. Full stop. Now I'm going to use the select command to correct the spelling of Gemtessa. Dragon has put down Gemtest, so I'll turn on the microphone. Select gem test. You can see a box has popped up with alternatives. If one of those alternatives is viable, then simply say choose one, choose two, etc. If not, say add that to vocabulary. Add that to vocabulary. Now I will type in the correct spelling of the word and hit default pronunciation. That's now been added to the vocab listing. I can now turn back on the microphone and with the incorrect spelling still selected, redictate. Jim Tessa. Now if you have a heavy accent or have a different emphasis on pronouncing the word, you can open up the vocabulary again, go to that listing of the word, click it, click train, and now I have the option to re-dictate the word. Firstly, turn on the power mic mobile, then click the red button and say the word. Jim Tessa. Click confirm and the word is retrained. New paragraph. The patient was prescribed Gemtessa to deal with urinary tract infections. Full stop. Now you might want to place a word directly into the vocabulary. So again, go to menu, bring up vocab. You can also say manage vocabulary into your phone and that will start up that particular box. Click add. And another new medical term is vocabria. Now I'm not going to use default pronunciation. This time I'm just simply going to dictate directly uh, uh, with my voice. Again, turn on the microphone. Vocabria. Confirm. New paragraph. The patient was prescribed a vocabria. Full stop. You may also be using a USB power mic. Let's change to that microphone. Again in menu, select menu and go to the USB power mic connection. You notice the again the microphone icon has changed. Let's add another word. Another new drug term is posimir. Add. Now I'm not sure of the pronunciation, so I'm going to now use uh, my verbal dictation to train the word. Now with the power mic USB connection, I don't need to press the record button, I just need to hold the mic and press the red button on the computer. Possum here. Click confirm. Close. 
the paragraph. The patient was prescribed posamir. Full stop. As mentioned, the select command provides access to correcting a word, adding it to vocabulary. It also provides the opportunity to change your dictation or modify a word. Firstly, I want to delete three sentences that are repetitive. It's easier to take the mouse and swipe those three sentences and say, delete that. Now I want to change the word from urinary tract infections to urinary tract issues. Select infections, issues. So by using the select command, you can very easily choose a word and redictate over the top. You can also use to emphasize, I might want to underline three days ago. Select three days ago, underline that. I could also say bold that, italicize that. The important point to remember here when selecting a word to bold or underline, for example, you have to put that after the command. If I just selected three days ago and said bold, it would replace three days with the word bold. But by saying bold that, it issues the command. For example, select tract, bold, undo that, tract, select tract, bold that. The select command can also be used to capitalize a word. For example, select hypertension, Now the selection box has given hypertension with all capitals or the first letter capitalized. You can choose one or choose two, or you can say, cap that. Select hypertension, all cap that. A very important and popular feature of DMO is the auto text function. If we go to the menu and choose manage auto text, you'll see here is a list. I shall choose COVID-19 history. You can see that in the content box, there's a small paragraph with variables inserted. The variables are defined by the square brackets. This auto text has a name and it has a spoken form. The spoken form is the command. Let's clear this document, select all, delete that. COVID-19 history, 25, next field, three, next field, Fever with continuous cough, but no muscle pain. Next field, moderate, full stop. So a small preset paragraph with variables where patient's details can be inserted, can be brought up with a single command. Now, one hint when using auto texts, if we go back into the window, select it. COVID-19 history, you'll notice first of all, the spoken form is written and there is no numeral, whereas the numeral is inserted in the name. 
What can be added to the spoken form is the word insert. This helps separate out the term COVID-19 history that may be used in normal dictation. And in doing so, you don't want to trigger an auto text. So place the word in the spoken form, uh, form insert, apply, close, your paragraph, insert COVID-19 history, 25, three, shortness of breath, mild, full stop. Now you'll notice that I didn't have to say next field this time because on my power mic mobile or on my USB power mic, there are buttons already preset to go to next field, next field, next field, or previous field to go backwards. If we open up the options, microphone buttons, you can see that number seven is listed as next field. And also number three above it is listed as next field. So many people prefer to use the buttons on the microphone instead of saying next field. Similarly, if we now change the microphone to PowerMic Mobile, at the very bottom of the window, you'll see their next field is the right hand arrow and the left hand arrow is the previous field. Auto texts can be created from preset templates that you may have and copied into the content box of the auto text window. You can also construct your own one. Very simply, you can have something like a list. For example, hit the plus button down the bottom. You might want blood pressure. then a square bracket, then maybe some dots to indicate the space, close it off with a square bracket, that defines the variable. Next, you might want pulse rate. Again, square brackets. And then followed by the units beats per minute. Assign a name. It could be patient. Details. And I'm going to put the word insert as before. It's just a very simple, small example. Hit apply, close. New paragraph, insert patient details, 125 over 80, next field, 72. You can edit your auto texts by opening up the auto text window, selecting patient details, for example, and re-editing the text in the content box. The variable fields in auto text are defined by delimiters. In this case, Dragon has chosen the square brackets as delimiters. You may have a template with many variables that do not use the square brackets as delimiters. They may use uh, a different type of bracket. The easiest way there would be to go into the options. And you'll see here under general that the auto text fields can be changed. The delimiters can be changed from square brackets to another form of bracket or symbol that may be relevant to your template. 
I'll briefly demonstrate another feature of DMO and that is the step-by-step -step command. From the menu, choose manage step-by-step -step commands, click the plus, click new step, and there's a list of the various features. Now one useful one is hotkey. This mimics the keyboard. Now Dragon does not have a backspace command available in DMO. So by pressing the backspace key on the keyboard, it enters it into the hotkey listing. We'll give it a name, backspace, which will also place the spoken form, our command, backspace. Hit apply, close, select all, delete that. Thank you for referring this 65 year old woman who fell off her bicycle and broke an ankle, comma, backspace. Full stop. You can also target websites and applications. Again, I've put in the voice recognition website. So if I click that and open the application, you see that in the target field, I've put our URL and given it a name and a spoken form. So this may be handy when uh, accessing particular applications or websites uh, during dictation simply by issuing a command. Step-by-step -step commands are specific and more often tailored or customised for individual use. Dragon Medical One does not dictate directly into all programs. You may be dictating through a remote connection to your server, or you may be dictating into a, an electronic medical records program that does not have full text control. For example, when dictating into Genie, a dictation box will appear. Thank you for referring William to our clinic. His right shoulder has been causing severe discomfort and has increased over the past several days, full stop. While dictating, a dictation box appears where you can do all your corrections. When finished, simply choose the transfer text button or say transfer text as a command, or even press the transfer text button on your phone, app, or on the USB power mic. You see now the text has been transferred directly to the letter ready, ready for sending. You can continue dictating. It is a constant aching pain that does not radiate into the arm or involve the neck, full stop. Place the cursor in the letter. Otherwise, you will get an error sign from Dragon. Then press transfer. Text in the text box or dictation box can be recalled simply by opening the text again in the box. You can hit the recall text button and there is the last piece of text that you have transferred. DMO has a comprehensive help menu. So from the Dragon menu, select Help. You'll see there the speech recognition help has a comprehensive list of speech recognition features. Also, Dragon help will list program features. Dragon menu also has a what can I say selection. This offers a list of commands relevant to various functions. We have also produced a DMO command sheet that you may have received with your initial purchase. If not, email or phone us and we are happy to send you the PDF file. This concludes 
the DMO Dragon Medical One training video. Thank you for watching.